do we see a special teams or defensive touchdown in the game for K State? I can't th- I can't remember exactly how many there were last season, um, but obviously it was the second game of the year uh, that Philip Brooks took a punt back for a touchdown. So what what do you say? Do we see a special teams or defensive touchdown on Saturday? Yeah, and that made me remember, and I think it was the first game, but you can correct me if I'm wrong, but everyone's favorite player, Jonathan Alexander, I think had a touchdown in the first game of the season on special teams off a block punt. I want to yes, think. Yes, I, I, right? I think you're right. <laughs> so uh, they, they tend to kind of do that. Look, and w- one of those guys that has blocked a punt already is Seth Porter. And I don't know how much special teams he's going to play. Uh, he might be the most valuable special teams player on the entire team. Uh, people remember, and I brought this up on the Three Mall podcast earlier. Um I think it's on the preview podcast, but like the one play that everyone forgets is that that play where Seth Porter down the, down the punt in the big 12 championship game inside the five yard line. So TCU didn't even try yep. to uh, score on the final possession. and was just happy to go into overtime like TCU and the way Max Duggan was going, like they could have gotten field goal range. There was enough time there. Yep. So Seth Porter was very valuable. I will actually say, yes, they do. I, th- I, I don't know if it's a defensive touchdown just because, I think there are some kinks to work out there. Although, if they are as fast as a defense as they they are vowing that they are, usually fast defenses are the ones that wreak the most havoc and can cause the most turnovers. So maybe that's an element that even though this defense is probably worse in areas than last year's, maybe that's the one where they can be better. They did force a lot of turnovers already last year, though. I'll say because you say it's special teams or defensive touchdown, I'll say yes. I kind of lean towards special teams though. Mm-hmm. Uh, they did have one last year in the opener, second touchdown of the year. I think it was a Seth Porter block that led to Desmond Purnell, who had a touchdown uh, against South Dakota. So they've done it before. It happens plenty of times. Um, Malik Knowles maybe took a, a kickback for a touchdown uh, in one of the first games of the season a couple of years ago. So it, I, I think it probably does happen. I think that they expose it. And I think it does come on special teams where that's typically where you can really – I mean, offense, defense, you'll see differences. But last year, it was pretty apparent that South Dakota was not going to be any match for K-State special teams. And I think we see something similar to that this year uh, with this game.